Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're going to be doing something quite interesting. We're going to be building a whole fleet of ships out of a singular ship. Now, as I have done and I have learned in the past, you pour hours and hours into time of designing and building a particular ship. Now, this one here, I've rattled together from a few different ships that I actually like from the workshop. I'll have a link down in the description. But you can see what I've done is I've stuck a few different parts together and came up with something I quite like. And in the case of building your own ship from scratch, you spent five or six hours building that ship up and now you want to build the rest of the fleet. But the only problem is you want that sort of uniform look. You want all the ships to have that similar sort of feel. Now you could do that by adding the color, but all the ships are gonna feel still very different. And something I really like to do is do a little bit of copy and pasting. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite building techniques. We're gonna grab a copy of my ship that I've been messing around building, and we're just gonna throw it up over here. So as you can see there, now my mouse wheel is out of action at the moment, so it means I can't wheel blocks away from me. And we're going to have a quick look at parts we actually want of this ship. So I'm feeling for a medium sort of size cruiser, we can take this area out and we're going to replace it and change it around with a few different parts here. I do like this lower section as well. We've also got our engine bays on the back that are going to be quite important, but we could move the cockpit to the front. So let's actually just begin cutting away, doing some of my favourite stuff. So there we go, add that there and we'll just do a massive cut down the side at the back there and that should cut the whole of the rear section off the ship perfect now we're not going to want this middle section so let's cut that out as well we'll cut that at this end here and we might save that piece for later because it might come in handy but we'll just cut that away once again we've got a little bit of a connection in the middle that i've missed out and we'll just quickly neatly trim that up with the right mouse button so as i'm trimming this i'm trying to work out how these different parts are actually going to shape up and fit together so look at this part we've just made here Quite an interesting part we can use that definitely for something else so we'll stick that over there this is what my shipyards tend to look like different parts of ships now just from that part alone i'm getting some amazing ideas to rotate another part like that and then attach that to something like that and then we're getting a more blocky sort of design let's see if we can actually connect that up without doing that so we're getting a different sort of shape ship there completely and then if we add some engines onto that i'm, just, I'm feeling that ship we're going to continue building from that bit now we've got the engine bay on the front here but i'm not feeling that we need this whole sort of compartment so i'm thinking maybe we take the actual cockpit off the top and we mount the cockpit to the maybe the roof and something you can do is you can push different parts in here so we could also have like an off-centered cockpit if we really wanted to to the side we're just pushing through parts through parts to get a little bit of a feel of what it's all about so we'll pop that part up there and we'll completely steal this cockpit now a problem with building ships like this is it means that you will have to do a lot of interior tidying later on but i don't really think that's a big factor because the speed that you can actually whip out ships with this rate and build some quite beautiful designs so now that I've got the new area copy and pasted, you can actually see the idea we're going to go for here. We're just going to connect that up and make a double sort of glass hallway. And you can see this new ship is already starting to take shape really nicely. And I think we can work in some sort of cockpit, maybe towards the front or the back. And I don't really want to continue this same sort of shape that we've got here. So let's actually see what we can do by cutting another one of these cockpits off. We've already done it. So we'll just pop one up here and we'll try stealing that cockpit away. It's a lot of shaping and reshaping, just trying to get that feel. I, I like doing this because it's like a sort of sculpture rather than actually building a ship from scratch. You've got all the parts you want, the shapes you want. You just have to apply them together and build something that is quite aesthetically sort of pleasing. And then you can work out the interior later on. So I'm going in now with cockpit placement. We're placing that towards the front of the ship. So this is going to be the actual forward area. And then we need to work on the rear area. With the rear area, we need to really just make it very clear that that is the front of the ship. And I think a way we could do that is extend this out and maybe add it into a booster pack. And this is where you will get into a part of design where you're going to have to really start adding to it. You can't really just keep taking copy and pasting parts of the design around so let's actually do a little bit of cutting here and see what we've got to work with a good way of cutting these is make sure you grab the center straight away and you can do one clean cut rather than do the little bits that you keep seeing me doing so we've grabbed that and we're just going to take this part off completely so control delete that and whip that from the center you can see we've got some other areas there that we could do some work with we're going to make sure that's lined up and add it to the rear of the ship now the problem that you can encounter doing this is you'll just end up with a really big ship and it is very problematic because you'll just keep adding and the idea is to add to the sides and add to different areas as well rather than just keep adding back to front so let's actually have a look what sort of lineup we get in with this what sort of connection um i'm not sure about this this might not look too well and since i'm doing this live now i guess i'll just have to commit to it make sure this is actually lined up straight away okay i've committed to that part of the design and we'll see what we've got 
Okay, I'm not feeling that. It feels like it feels very added on at the moment. It's too thin in the middle. Maybe we need to add something to the middle to just define it a little bit better. So what I've quickly done to the end is I've actually added a few hydrogen thrusters to the end and connected them up. They need a little bit more pipe work at the moment, but I'm going to work on the problem that we've got in the center here where it's too flat. And something that we can actually quickly do just to eradicate that problem is start to break up this shape by making it a lot thicker. And by doing so, if we just add a few blocks in here and change the angle of sort of attack here, we're breaking some more blocks off and then we finish off in that area, we're going to be able to curve this whole complete area up completely differently. So we'll add that block in there. And if I just decide to start smoothing this out, rotate that block around, place that in place, and then add ourselves some of these much more curved blocks, we'll get this little bit of a breakout effect. And to break out a little bit further, we'll add ourselves one of these bad boys in as well. So we're actually getting a little bit of definition from the rest of the ship. Not a colour that I'd like at the moment. I think that needs to be in a bit of, bit of grey. But colour is something we'll leave more likely to the end. So I'll just colour that in quickly. And we've got a little bit of detail to stand out from the rest of the ship. And you can see that's pulling that off a little bit better. Maybe we could wrap that around the top as well. It's just adding the fine details. Once you've ripped that other ship apart and started to change it into something new, you just need to add them small details back in. Now, building like this in Space Engineers is what really excites me. The ability to copy and paste, turn things around and really access your sort of creativity. And the best thing is you've spent hours and hours building the first ship. So you may as well get a little bit more out of it and turn it into multiple ships. So you can see here just alone if I delete a little bit of this ship graveyard we'll pop that one out in the distance pop through these parts out as well if we delete them we've got ourselves three ships that have been created from the original that is down there so you've got the original you've got like an original mark 2 version and something that is really cool about this is they have a feel of belonging to each other as part of the same sort of fleet that I really like and I've just started work on this third one so if you've not messed around ripping apart an existing ship that you built and tried to turn it into multiple ones it's definitely something you should try it can be really